What's up friends, my name is Luca, I'm from Pokemon DCG Austria and today we have the second episode from interviews with national champions, this time with Stefade, how, how is it, Ruff? Ruff. Ruff, Ruff. yes. Okay, <laughs> well hello, thanks for having okay. me as your interview partner. Hello, that's it's such a pleasure to be with you today. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations uh, at you. your first, I, I think it was your first national champion place, right? Uh, actually, actually, this is the tenth time I play to the to my national. It is okay. the first time I go to the to the to the top to the top eight. I would say. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, it was not really my first time at my national. <laughs> okay, so pretty cool. So you decided to play night march. Yes. Um, <laughs> and and actually, that's a very interesting build. But why did you decide to play night march? Uh, actually, the, the 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 thought about the the, the deck was really long. Um, I mean, uh, I choose first of all Night March to play test with Night March because I checked the the results uh, on the um, on the on the USA results mm -hmm. and the the figures was pretty obvious. I mean, <laughs> choosing Night March was probably the best choice. Yeah. So th that's why I started to play with it, uh, even if I. All the season I played, uh, I've played um, uh, Seismo Toad because I really, I really love this deck. And uh, but I felt that w wouldn't be the best choice for the for the national. So I decided to play Night Mar Night March. Yeah, especially with Greninja, uh, Seismo Toad had a decrease in play. Definitely, definitely. Um, was, and, yeah. and actually, Greninja was probably the my my. Um, my, my 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 nightmare with uh, for, yeah, <laughs> for for the play test and especially and especially with with night march so and that's why i um uh, i um uh to change uh, change some cards from the, the basic list i mean yeah. especially the, the belt uh exactly. i pre i prefer to uh, to choose burst in balloon first of all i really thought about uh, only about greninja and uh, most uh, Particularly with the the list with two or three Jirachis in their deck, yeah, and it was so difficult. Uh, I was really anxious about that that matchup. So I decided to put two balloons because it was more. Um, um, uh, I, I think that was the best defense I could find uh, in the deck. Yeah, it's very and, effective against sure Actually, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I and. And after, and after all, what was the, the the good surprise that when I thought about all the all the ma all the matchups, it was like yeah, that would be excellent against the for, for the mirror, um, mm -hmm. and also for the for 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 the all the decks De definitely definitely the one of the best choice. I mean, I I, I really ch I changed the card just one day before the competition, so there was oh, really <laughs> yes, okay. I tried like. Three or four different matches with it, and was definitely the, the one of good choice when I talked with my friends about that. So, and uh, and we 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 started with that uh, just before the competition. Okay, so you would say that it definitely was worth it. Yeah, definitely not for all not for all the match the, the matchup, but most of them yes. Okay. But I, also it was really difficult. Also because I thought about all the the, the, the dark uh, dark decks. That, um, mm -hmm. I mean. Especially with Evertol or Darkrai, and um, but this reflection was more uh, concentrated on the the French game and the French here in France. I heard ab about Night March and Greninja, not about really about dark decks, yeah, definitely not. So I decided to 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 ignore this matchup. And that was that was pretty much the good choice because I only uh, I, I was uh, was in the round uh, five or six I can't remember well it was round six that I've uh, I was against uh, Evil Tall Darkrai but mm. that's all but that really did, that was the only one and actually I won that against that one too. <laughs> okay so I think that was really good meta gaming you did there so. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, did you did you miss the Fighting Fury Bell? Because I've never seen a list, a Nightmarch list, run without Fighting Fury Bell. Because he's plus forty HP. That's what the important thing here in the Nightmarch deck is. Just are um, amazing. The ten damage is not mm -hmm. that important. No, so, no, no, that's true. But I, I didn't really miss it. I mean, it was the, the match. The, the, the match against the Evil was really, really difficult in a way. But mm -hmm. actually, 
it was the deck was with uh, Darker EX and Malamar EX, and uh, so in that configuration, it's not that complicated to play without the the, the belt, just because we've got the, the Lysander, just because we've got the, the, the target whistle, and yeah. in this in this case, it's really pretty easy to get the six prizes for, uh, for for that game. So that that's why I didn't feel really um, um, I, 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 um, didn't miss really to discard uh, in in this play, and I think that is that that made the difference for the two days. Okay, I see. Oh, it was it was about two days French nationals. Yeah, top yeah, top eight I mean, was day yes, two. two. Yeah, days, correct. The first day was for the for the for the yeah. rounds, and the yeah. second day for the top the top eight. Okay, so I think that's that's a good way uh, to talk about the nationals because uh, I think it was was it the biggest European nationals or was UK nationals the biggest? Because oh. I think. There were some uh, over 160 players, stuff like that. I read on the internet. Do you know the exact uh, numbers? Uh, we were 165 if Whoa, I'm that's right, in division. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. That was actually the, the the best uh, the best number. Uh, I mean, because I, I I've played since 2006, and uh, I really think that is the, the the biggest number, the biggest number number of players we get, and. Um, I, I didn't uh, didn't check uh, on the national uh, the the UK national, uh, mm -hmm. but I think we we get pretty much the same number. Or they, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm going to check that real quick. But but let's talk. Uh, so you had I think what eight rounds, eight Swiss rounds. Yes. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your your Swiss rounds. I mean, did you have uh, like like a streak, or was it complicated for you to reach top card, or how was it? Uh yes, it was. <laughs> it was a little bit difficult. Actually, it's always difficult because I really don't like the uh, the the system with only a top eight. I remember the time when we get the top sixteen or the top yeah. thirty two, and it was pretty much better for everyone because we were less uh, stressed about that and. Uh, and actually, that changed a lot about the game. So that, and actually, that's why I chose Osid not much for that, for that, uh, that, that, uh, that thing because it's the only deck that I can feel okay. I can beat any any other deck with that. <laughs> so, yeah, and this is the only way to get to reach the top cut. Of I mean, course, that's, yeah. what, that's what my my first thought. So basically, yes, I choose to choose that uh, just just that deck. And after about my my feeling about this the, the, this very day was was pretty long because I get uh, five. Uh, rounds. I, I won five rounds and I get tied three of them. Uh, so that was pretty much really tight to get to to reach the top cut. Pretty pretty tight. I see. Yeah. But but in the end, uh, which which uh, place did you get in the top eight? I think it was uh, fifth. If I'm right, fifth. Fifth. Okay. So so any any interesting matches you had in Swiss round you want to talk about or was it like just yeah ties and I won I won I won and then I'm in top card. <laughs> Uh yeah, the, actually all of them <laughs> in in a way all of them were interesting. Um, okay. the, the the second one was uh I I've, I think I've been really really lucky on the second one because I played uh, played against uh Trevenant mm -hmm. and uh on the first the first match um I checked my uh, opening deck and uh opening deck and Actually, he forgot to um, to to double sleeved uh, three or four cards in the stack. If I'm right, so he get oh. to get lost for that. Um, and because I lost the 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 uh, the. the um, the dice rolling for the game, so mm -hmm. and pretty for night march is pretty pretty difficult when you lost the, when you fight against Trevenant and you you don't start. Sure. So I win the first game uh, and definitely just after he won because he started the game, and I won the third one because I started because I just huh. I can do my setup dev yeah. very easily. So that's why I really think I win just because he forgot the sleeves. So because I, I think the things would be would have been pretty different in, um, uh, for for the um, if he missed the, uh, the, yeah, the for your opponent, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. And <laughs> uh, after um, the, I think the last game was uh, was pretty uh, pretty tricky for me because. Uh, <clears throat> I was at the first table with my opponent, he get, and my opponent gets seven zero. So that was that was massive because he played Toad Tina, what? and 
we we agreed uh, we agreed to um, to tie this game um, uh, based on calculation, especially with with him because he don't didn't want to f- uh, to, to to face another deck was me- Mega Man trick. I think he didn't want to face that one, mm-hmm. so he decided to to get a tie that would be better. And actually, I get I think I get a top cut also for that. And we played the game just after signing the, the the slip. We played the game, and I get I get a really a big big loss because it's <laughs> it's impossible to win for that with the uh, against uh, against Tortina. Yeah, if you don't play any enhanced hammer or zero, yeah, well, you just <laughs> lose. <laughs> <laughs> and then in that in it's at that moment that I really really miss Xerosic because yeah. on on all the different games that I was playing. Um, uh, I felt that something was missing, and I felt at the very end of the, the first day that it was uh, effectively uh, the um, the zero sick. Hmm, I see, but yeah, you managed to get into top cut. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter if you have zero sick or not. So, um, which decks were in top cut? I think I think I saw I seen Night March. Uh, three different Night March. Okay. Uh, uh, one uh, Mega Mewtwo, one Mega Man. Uh, there was one Greninja, uh, one Trevenant, and I can't remember the last one. Uh, Must have been Totino then. Yeah, and Totino, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I think a very bad field for the Mega Mewtwo player. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, this what the, the funny thing is that the first time uh, we reached the we we went to the to the to the national with my team because I'm from um, the south of France okay. and we are uh, we are a really good team actually we were 15 uh, g- going to the national oh, cool. and we made the top cut the three three uh, three participants of my team were in the top cut and that was pretty that was pretty amazing. For everyone, I mean, I mean, uh, that's uh, that. Just at the, at the end of the first day, I was so happy. I did, really didn't care about the, the the second day because I said, okay, we we are three, three, uh, three members of the team getting the top cut. So that yeah, was so amazing. It's amazing, sure, yeah, because you're and with one, your friends and yes, that so. was so crazy, <laughs> so funny in the in the way. And actually, one of them was to play with the the Mega Mewtwo. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, he get a kid problem with the with this deck. Uh, he had the um, um, card marked. I think that there was uh, so that okay. was the decision by the judge, and so he get a, a game loss at the the very first uh, first game. And actually, if he, he faced night march, so everything was against him. So he yeah, lost sure. uh, like in ten minutes or fifteen minutes, something no like chance, that. No chance, no chance in top eight. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I see. So, so what was your top eight match? Tobin match was uh, Mega Manetric. Okay. Uh, Can be tough. It depends. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 because basically it's uh, it's uh, a deck composed of EX, and with EX it's really really easy. Even even uh, I mean, I attacked uh, the uh, the Shiny uh, even the Joltians uh, because. Not that difficult because you get you took two prizes cards, so it's too fast for Mega Man to to uh, to come back on the game. So I I was I played against him um, during the, the the first day. It wasn't at my seventh round. I won mm-hmm. twice, and on the, during the top cut was the same thing. It was really it was not that difficult actually. I get really good um, good starts. Uh, it was not the case for him. Huh. And uh, so I get to, to, to win very easily, I mean. Yeah, Nightbox is just so consistent. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that that it can be tough for the Nightbox player if your opponent manages to, to disturb you with X-Manic or Judge and sets up a uh, Choltion X. Because afterwards you can't do much if he doesn't have anything in his Discord pile. But if he doesn't get that and he has a bad setup, then yeah. GG, I would say. <laughs> I, th- I think that when we talk about the Joltian, we, we talked about a lot about this this Pokemon. I don't think this is the solution. I mean, uh, for the players who want to play that card, I th- really think that's not a good idea. Just just for one reason, because it's too hard to get just one Joltian in, in at the active position without anything else and without anything in the jo- in the in the, the discard pile. It's 
too hard. I think it's really the, this situation is really too hard to get. I mean, at one moment you need to, to just to get one shiny, one, one uh, or or another EX Pokemon. I thought about also for the um, Ray uh, Ray Quaza uh, deck. Ray. So it's mm-hmm. exactly the same thing, and it's too easy for the Nightmare deck just to do a target with a uh, target whistle and a Lysander just behind. I mean, twice because with the, the puzzle of time, it's really easy to get the other prizes. Just I can get an, uh, can be knocked out by the Jolty, and but I can just target the other the other Pokemon. I mean, for the all tr- the all matches I train. I never faced a situation with just one Jolteon and one okay. DC. So definitely, I think that the people who play that is really a bad choice. This is too hard to get just one Jolteon and nothing else just behind to be protected. Yeah, sometimes people are lucky, but <laughs> that's yeah. not, not the case most of times. Okay, so uh, which decks did advance the top four? You as a Night March player, mm-hmm. um, Night March as well, second yes. Night March. Uh, one Greninja, so he, uh, the Greninja won against uh, Totina. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that he was really, really <laughs> <laughs> like that, first that against eight seed. Because oh, he, gets, okay. he was about to make eight um, eight wins for the first day, and he just lost the top eight just because he faced this his worst uh, <laughs> uh, matchup. That was oh, good man. for me in a way. So yes, in the top four there was so uh, me, the Tortina, the the, um, the Greninja, the Night March, and one Trevenant. Okay, so Trevenant actually is. So did did Trevenant play against against what did you play? I uh, played against uh, Greninja. Okay, so so pretty much um, hmm. interesting, interesting. Okay, so so how how was it? How was it? Oh, uh, the, the game. The game. The game. I think that what I was. I was a bit lucky on that one because, I mean, I mean, look, it's it's always it's always uh, very hard to 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 say that if I was really good in the game or pretty much lucky, yeah. but I would say that the deck, the, the Greninja deck, the, what the, the the weak point of this deck is that is it needs a lot of turns to get um you know, to get ready to attack with the with the 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 uh, the, the, the break Pokemon. Sure. So and for night march in just one night one turn I can just set up my game and just select who I'm gonna uh, knock out, and um, so the the Greninja the, the only solution you get is just to play with only with the Giratias and sometimes with the Grenus just with the the, the first attack which we he when he can uh, just paralyze me. Uh, yeah, Froki, sorry, it's yeah. not Grunus, Grunus is the French one. <laughs> Froki, sorry. <laughs> Froki he can just paralyze me and um so he based the two games on that just because it was too hard for me for him to get the the, the, the Greninjas or the Greninja break. And I get it was too easy to get for me to get the the, the, the prizes on that. So he, the first game was the the, the, the the longest one was I think the the, the, the um the, the 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 hardest one uh, because I was about to to be uh, to be deck out um, I I needed just one DC to end the game and what he did it was pretty much good with the Jirachi just to uh, to discard my my DC at each time he can mm-hmm. and it was pretty much difficult in that way but actually it was not really playing against the deck was just playing just to survive that was the feeling <laughs> we get both of us just to to do, to 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 take out uh, to take out me or and it was pretty much the same thing for the two games and the, the second one the second game was not really good for him either it was really bad start and actually what is also the force of the night march deck is that i try to judge my opponent uh, at the very first time i mean yeah. at, at the beginning was i mean just before the competition it was really tricky to choose uh, what which card I'm gonna select uh, with the battle compressor? If it's gonna be the um, the, uh, the 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 X maniac or the judge? And apparently, judge is pretty good at the first turn, just to to set up and just judge judge uh, to make a judge at the at the very first turn. Yeah, sure, because X maniac doesn't have any use against uh, decks like Greninja yeah. because they don't play Shaven X at all. So yeah. most of the Greninja decks don't play Octillery. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're not really reliable on abilities except for the Greninja break. And <laughs> you told me that yeah, it wasn't his game plan to play uh, for the Greninja break. So <laughs> pretty <Yep>. crazy. <laughs> okay, so you won that as well. Um, yep. But but yeah, actually, I think that the strategy just to play with Chirachi Starrus and Focus Bubble just to deck you out is you you can play easily around it if you I don't know if you just discard four Lampent or. I don't know yeah. for night marches. 
and, and you you are aware of your resources and I don't know pass off time for your DCs and exactly bursting balloon <laughs> bursting balloon sure surely came in handy uh, in that matchup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, finals against Nightmarch. against Revenant and actually, against Revenant. Oh Revenant. god! <laughs> and actually, it was against my friend, uh, from a member of my team. So <laughs> oh wow, that's like the, the best possible outcome. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It, was, it was really, really cool. <laughs> pretty good because we we were uh we we were like if if it was at, at the pokemon league it was really the same thing it's like okay uh I w you know when i was in front of my team the first thing i said okay if you do miss uh misplays okay if you don't if you want to change what you want to do just do it just feel free to do you take your time for playing i don't care about it we're just playing for fun i mean that was yeah, yeah. <laughs> was pretty much amazing for the fourth final sure <laughs> That I was that was really a uh, really a cool uh, cool moment, uh, but actually also tricky for me because I felt like okay, Dreadnought is probably the bad, the worst deck ever for me, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win this one, and uh, so let's play it really in the funny way. Okay. And um, <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I, I lost the first game in like in three minutes. He okay. judged. He uh, was. He, he get the, the get the toss. He won the uh, uh, get the the Trevenant, uh lock at the very first turn. He judged me, and I get like four, uh, like two, uh, one X Maniac, two uh, bursting balloon, and uh, I can't remember two uh, two Lampen, So I get a really bad hand. So. But how how was he able to? Uh, you mean he he played Bali first turn? Yes. You, you yeah, had yeah. Nothing, and then he judged you yeah, afterwards. That's okay, I see. Okay, I mean, so actually, yeah. you you were with the back to the wall because like he had the advantage because he could decide who is going first in game three. Yes. So he you you won the second. Yes, I won the second one, and actually, uh, I, I get really really a pretty good uh, good start. I mean, I, I had the really the best cards in my hand. That was perfectly good. Mm -hmm. So actually, the, the last game lasted uh, actually. Uh, 25 or 30 minutes something like that so we had like 20 25 minutes to for the third one and actually that was the um, that was the chance that that spoke at that moment and say uh, i just uh took the seven cards at the beginning just check and i got really the, an extreme good departure it was the best and actually he if uh, he failed the the the, the wally at the, at the at the beginning mm -hmm. that that was uh, I thought that what would be I would be the winner for that game, and actually, and he failed, and he failed the Wally for the first ah, time. Ah, okay, that's huge. Okay, so that's, yeah, that, was the, that was that was actually <sighs> crazy. Okay, so that that was your story of how you won French nationals. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the interview. Is there anything else you want to add? Anything you want to say? I don't know. Shoutouts to your team, to your friend. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just a uh, big thanks to all of the members of my team because they, they were they were the best we have uh, Vincent um, Vincent who uh, reached the the top 8 at Worlds Championship 2 years ago we've got three, two or three players who are really well, who are already qualified for the World Championships and I think that it's going to make pretty good results so, so Definitely, I think I make I make a big thing for that because uh, um, I'm not uh, uh, strictly a, um, a player, a real player. I would say because I'm a look, I'm the organizer um, in uh, in my local region. Oh, okay, I see. So I judge at the ECC. I'm most of the time at judging. So <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was a good a good surprise for me. Uh, I trained I trained a little bit for the for the national, and I didn't think that I could make that that <laughs> results. But uh, I think that the experience, my experience, uh, talked uh, talked for me for the for my for this national. I see. So one last question from my side. Uh, so how many championship points do you currently have, and do you plan to go to the world championships as a competitor? Um, for the moment, I get. I think it was seven hundred and ten points, something like that. Seven hundred. Okay. So uh, I can't reach the top twenty-two. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. I don't know yet because uh, um, 
last year, I mean, for five years now, I am a translator for the for the watch championship. I'm the translator for the French players. Of course, <laughs> um, I used to, I used to, but um, I don't know yet if I, uh, I, I didn't receive the the invite yet. Mm-hmm. I hope to get one, but I don't know. Uh, but I'm. I am hesitating between being a, a staff member because I really love the experience being a, uh, being a, being a member of the staff team for the World yeah. Championship, or to be a player. But to be honest, <laughs> but to be honest, it's um, uh, I'm not really not sure because I I was a player in 2011 at the the World Championship and I <laughs> I was the very 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 last one of the <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I see. Okay, thank you very much, Stefane, uh, for this interview. Have a have a great day. Have a great evening, <laughs> and maybe see you at Worlds. <laughs> see you at Worlds. I hope. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs>